how much sleep did you get last night? Yeah. Welcome to the podcast where we talk about anything and everything that comes out of the crapshoot. I'm your host, JD. This is my co-host, John. James. I call him James. Everyone else calls him Jimmy. It just works like that. It's weird. A lot of things have happened this week, James. Uh, a new episode of Flash came out, and I uh, I hated it. <laughs> you could I, immediately I, jump into ooh. it? We can. Yeah, I mean, I get it out of the way. You know, that way it's not like an ending of the episode and everything. Right, right. I, so, uh, uh, is, is this the Flash, the, the CW show Flash? or CW Flash, it's the final season, it's episode three. <laughs> oh, the final season? Like, they're not going to do it? They're not going to do it anymore? No, they're finally ending it, thank what? God. There, there is a heaven. No. Why? I don't watch it, so I... <laughs> uh, I do watch it, and I can tell you this was the best option, and really the only option that they needed to make. Really? You thought it was bad? I think it hasn't been good since season four. But it had four good seasons. Well, hold on, JD. When I say I, haven't, I don't think it's been good since season four, mm-hmm. I don't think season four or three were that good. I think they were okay. I think mm. season one and two were incredible, and then it never got better, and it never stayed where it was. <laughs> and it all really culminates with the with the uh, the quote, "No, Barry, we are the Flash," said by <laughs> Iris West, who had no powers and really contributed nothing at the time. Whoa! It sounds like you don't you don't like Iris. What? No, I, I think her character in the first two seasons were good. I think they did what Iris actually does. They made her a porter who helped Barry, you know, like, find out stuff and everything. No, no, you know, no, no, no. The, no, the, no. She was the she's lowest. The, she's the Flash, James. No, J.D. She's the Flash. N- Barry JD, gonna... is, just a, is just a small little man, simp, little baby man, okay? He really and all is. he does is he support really is Iris, point. who's the real Flash. Hey, J.D.? Yeah. That's literally what the past like four seasons of the show has felt like. Really, it's felt like that's the plot. That's, that's just it. a shot in the dark. <laughs> I, I'm not I, joking. Dude, they should, I, I've been saying this for years. They should hire me as a writer for these shows, dude. I know what's up. I know what's going on inside their heads, man. There, I can get inside their like, heads. There was like one or two seasons where, for some reason, it was very Iris focused, and I still don't know why. Because she's the Flash. But but JD. She didn't. She didn't do anything. She's she the Flash. Got, she just got trapped in another world, and they're like, "Okay, we got to spend the entire thing continuously focusing on Iris." Okay, what should we do with the Flash? I don't know. Take away speed. What? Yeah, just take huh? away speed. What should we do with but, the Flash? Make him slower. <laughs> hey, JD, he's never been fast. Is my problem. They, they, they he's keep... never been fast. <laughs> so I gotta pause the game to complain about this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they. There was a point where Kid Flash was on the show, and I was very happy. Again, Kid this is Flash season... is that a different? What, what kind of yeah. Flash is that? Kid that, Flash is that not Barry? Pretty... No, that's Wally West or Bartholomew Allen, uh, <laughs> which is Barry's grandson and oh. his nephew. Hmm. Wally's grandson his and his nephew. Wally's his nephew. Bart is his <laughs> <Okay>. grandson. <laughs> I thought you were uh, about to say Kid Flash is both his nephew and his grandson. Like, what? Hmm. Well, technically, yes. The moniker has been used by both his grandson and nephew. But respectfully, Wally is his nephew. But also, in this universe, instead of making him his nephew, they made Iris' estranged brother. So now it's his brother-in-law. Oh, yeah. And it, it, I, I was excited because I liked the actor they got and I was OK mm-hmm. with it. it. I know everybody was upset that it wasn't the ginger Wally and that they were going with the new 52 version, which is Wallace West, which is a different mm-hmm. character. Wallace West. <laughs> Wallace West and Wally West are two different characters. <laughs> and they're both I'm so glad that they're so it's so it's so not confusing <laughs> what these characters are. Man, it just makes sense. Right. One's black. 16 one is times ginger. the detail. Um, and. <laughs> And it's really simple, you know, when it's not that big of a problem. Simple. But I really liked it then because it was it was it was okay. But then they did something that really that really signified everything that was gonna happen in the show. They had Wally and Barry running after a guy in a motorcycle. Yeah. 
and they were slower than the motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of the G- the GTA mission where you you and Lamar are inside like a big big ass truck, and some dude hops on a motorcycle. And you're chasing him. You're like, and he's like, "What are you doing, man? Step on the gas!" Like, dude, dude, that dude's on a motorcycle. We can't catch his ass. <laughs> it's literally that. It's 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 like hmm, the two fastest men alive. I wonder what they'll do. Oh. Oh, they'll they'll kind of run well, sideways. To be fair, you know, you can still be the fastest man alive and be slower than a motorcycle. No. Yeah, you can be the fastest man alive no, and be slower than a motorcycle. That, that means that means somebody else is the fastest man alive because there there's been proven times, multiple times in the show, where other characters have been faster than motorcycles. <laughs> <laughs> so this makes Flash not the fastest man alive. So they need to have him stop saying that every time at the beginning of an episode. Oh, does he just keep saying that for, like, every single episode? Well, like, for, like, five seasons, they had the intro the same, and okay. they change it with, like, new information in the season. Oh, they change but... it to Iris voice here, be like, I'm the fastest no, man alive. And that... Oh, okay. But, but I think there was one that was Iris. <laughs> really? <laughs> I, think, I think there was one where it was, like, Iris in the intro, and I just, like, I stared at it, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what? What the fucking fuck? <laughs> But it's they they made him slower than a fucking motorcycle. Is and this it's like, not like a final special season? motorcycle. No, this was season four or okay. five. And that's where it's like he's he's proven time and time again. He is the fastest male life, but he's slower than a guy in a motorcycle because he's shooting a gun at them. Yeah, a gun that fires bullets. He is faster than. No, 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 yes. no, yes. no, 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 no. This but was Janie, not how this was supposed to go. <laughs> Jenny, also, the reason they're slower than the motorcycle, rather than just running to the motorcycle, they're doing tricks. They're like parkouring off walls and stuff. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> but they're CGI models. Dude, you just got to You just got to hit the. He's like, he's hitting the grizzly on that motorcycle while Flash is chasing him, but he's slower. <laughs> and it's just, and he's just like, it's just so much riz in the air. <laughs> flinging glizzies around while he's on the motorcycle but flash just can't keep up he's slipping on all these glizzies and and it's just been a it's just been a coming of the times everybody's wanted it to end because it's just it hasn't been good and so <laughs> when will this hell end <laughs> yeah and so the new season it's it's like hmm this is the final season and like the first episode we're gonna make him faster than he's ever been <laughs> it, no I think they took away his speed again. <laughs> I got J- JD. How many times has his speed I, I, been taken away? Constantly. It's all that. It's all the writers know how to do. It's like they have. They well, don't it's, know. It's because if he's too it's, fast, then how are you supposed to write no, that? He's, he's just not, beats everything, no, right? Can, there's so many times where people have had good writing with the Flash despite his speed, and it's like, how do you not understand that? It's the whole Superman problem that I'm seeing, where people are like, you can't write Superman. He's too powerful. That's not fucking true at all. That's never mm-hmm. true. You can it's write true. Superman. That's true. You can write Superman while he's too powerful. And just because you could, just because you say you can write it doesn't mean you can. But it's been done. <laughs> I haven't it's seen happened. it. Who's seen it here? Raise your hand in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Is the proof in the room with us? <laughs> <laughs> I don't see it. It doesn't exist. But like it's it's been proven, and it's like. They keep taking away speed. Like, there was a whole fucking season where, like, Bear, you only have 15% speed left. And I'm like, what does Yeah, that he mean? only has 15% and then he speed loses left. It, it, in means like it's, episode it means he's two. missing 85% speed. That's what it means, James. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> That's exactly how it works. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm in a straight jacket, just jerking around in a room, just, just like no, just, no. Bah, bah, The writers bah. have you in a straight jacket. You're like, no, that's not how you write it. That's not. It's so stupid. It doesn't make any sense. And then mean? the writers are like, speed. and then I, the writers are like, but what if Iris was the Flash? And you're like, no, no. <laughs> I'm screaming like, no, that's not how it works. Please. You can make. Iris has been a speedster before. You could just make her own character. Mm. No, I'm getting, I don't I'm getting think a little so. bit of backlash from this. I think we should bump it up to twenty percent speed. <laughs> <laughs> no, guys, I think we should just take away his speed for at least five. No, episodes. I don't episodes. think so. <laughs> and then we we should have him like kind of like have seizures, like speed force seizures. Yeah, he has the speed but force let's not strokes. Give him his speed back. <laughs> the speed force stroke. <laughs> it literally like I I can't explain it enough. It's so dog shit. It's so terrible. And then. They, in the new episodes, they're like, 
there's something even more dangerous than ever before coming, Barry. And it's like, <laughs> is there? And then Barry's like, there... did you just say coming? <laughs> like the first episode it starts out where it's like, okay, Barry, we stopped this big bad guy. But guess what? You can't stop us all from dying. And then everyone just has like, everyone's eyes turn into like lightning and then they just fall to the ground dead, I guess. Ah. And it's everyone. Like every character he knows is just there for some reason. <laughs> It's like, hey, Iris, hey, Chester, hey, uh, Aurora or something. Hey, mm-hmm. my dad, who's also uh, my wife's dad. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Barry and Iris are brother and sister, technically. What? You mean like blood? Nope. Adoption. Oh. No, I mean. Yeah. I was trying to just I was trying to like play <laughs> devil's advocate and try to justify yeah. that just because you th- think that's weird. But I also think it's kind of weird. You so maybe I'll concede that to it. you. You couldn't do that. <laughs> I couldn't find an. I couldn't find a valid argument. There was a season where there was not a season. There was an episode where they got married and they asked the dad. They're like, "Are you with the bride or the groom?" And he just looks at them both and smiles and he goes, <laughs> "Both." And then Want they to know the like only him. problem. <laughs> <laughs> but so ignoring all of it we meet a new captain boomerang there's a time loop it's very dumb and stupid barry doesn't care that he's in a time loop he's just like we can do whatever we want and then they just fuck off the whole episode they don't do anything till the Hell end and yeah it's like, what what is this Hell yeah i i didn't even watch the second episode <laughs> hell yeah I, I, and then the third episode there's there is a heist going on with captain boomerang the violinist and a, a mute person with a knife. Uh, the, I don't the know. The pianist. No, violinist. <laughs> it, they have a sonic violin. Ooh. See, that's cool. And then, then there's, I think it's supposed to be the new ragdoll, which is a, a character who's a villain. I don't know because I don't think they said, but they're a mute person who wears a mask. So I assume that's the case. Hell yeah. Uh, and then they're like, our sweet benefactor will be helping us. Thank God our benefactor is paying for all this. And then, like, on Team Flash, they're like, who is the benefactor? Who could it be? Who could it be? And then... <laughs> it was me, Barry. <laughs> no, JD. Because they've already done Reverse Flash being a villain eight times, and in, in the worst ways. They never got better after Season 2. Well, it's because Reverse Flash is a villain. Yes, but he's a great villain, and the show keeps just... No, I don't him. think so. No, JD. They keep, they keep, like, they don't even use the actual actor they have for Reverse Flash. They use a different actor for him every time now. <laughs> it, it annoys me so much. It's like, I know you guys can get him back. I know there's no bad blood. Why not just bring him back? No, that's too much work. It's not. It's not. It's, it's more work to have it be the different guy. But anyways, it's too much work. The villain for the season, I'm guessing, is Red Death, which is a new Flash villain, but he's also not a Flash villain. He's a Batman villain, technically. Really? Because he's, See, that's in, uh, that's the twist. It's not a Flash a, villain. It's a Batman he's a bat, villain. He's a Batman from a dark multiverse where... He's Michael Keaton, world, Batman's villain. <laughs> no. <laughs> the universe was dying, and so Batman wanted Flash to fix it and reset everything, but Flash didn't want to. Okay. So Batman strapped Flash to the front of his Batmobile and drove them so fast that they merged into one being, the Red Death. Wait, what? Yes. <laughs> Wait, so he strapped Flash to the front of his Batmobile and he uh-huh. drove so fast that the Flash and Batman merged together? Mm-hmm. Into one character called the Red Death. Are you looking it up? I heard you typing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see? Oh, it's a villain. Yeah, it's a villain, and there's he's part of a group of multiple Batman villains that are all representations of the different members of the Justice League. There's a Superman one, a Green Lantern, an Aquaman, technically Aquawoman. Uh, there's a bunch of different versions, and this is the Flash version. And <laughs> my name is Bruce Wayne. I am vengeance. <laughs> and and, and mm. it, it really annoys me, JD, because it's not even Bruce Wayne. It's not. It's Batwoman. We oh from like the, I, the show? Yes. Yeah. In one note, I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind it if it wasn't their universe's Batwoman. 
<laughs> it's not even another multiverse Batwoman. It's just their Batwoman, and they've already explained what the what happened to her. She didn't. She didn't. Wait, so see Barry and Batwoman that... merged together no, into Red Death? Or... That's the problem. That's the problem with it. It's just God. It's just Red Death in name only. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to have that problem with a lot of uh yes. lot of live action stuff where they just they put they slap the name of something on a, on another thing that isn't the original thing and you're like and you're like that pees me. It does because they did this with Godspeed in the fucking previous season. It's not even Godspeed. It's just some guy. He's just some guy. He just has a name. He doesn't have any of the motives. He's not trying to avenge his brother's death, and he's doing it in a very violent way. He's not. He's not a good character. <laughs> ah! uh. But then it's like they already explained it in a trailer for the next episode. She's affected by negative speed force. When? Uh, that's, how? That's just, it's, that's, yeah. That's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It's just it. a regular Krabby Pat. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's literally that. It's every moment. It's just that. God. And then they they have the fucking worst villains on the show, JD. <laughs> no, they're not so bad. I like no, Reverse they are, Flash. JD. No, look up Chill Blaine. Reverse Flash was so cool. No, no, look up CW Chill Blaine. Chill Blaine. Chill Blaine. Uh, I see a, oh, Chill, Chill Blaine. Um, yeah. Is it the shirtless guy with the leather jacket? Uh, hold on. I, there's no search results for this. Give me a second. Wait, chill. Hold on. I got to switch over to my, you know, I'm going to look it up and send a picture to you. Just... I could probably find a picture. Of, oh yeah, I see him. Yeah, it's a, like a it's like a ripped dude, and he's got a jacket on. Yeah, it, wonder what his i what his powers are, JD. What does he do? He shoots ice out of gloves. Oh, I, that's cool. No, it's not. I mean, there, wasn't fine. there an X Men that shot ice out of his hands? Yeah, it's fine, but they don't use him well, and he's just so fucking boring. They don't do anything interesting with them. They're just well, like, you know. To be fair, I, I see He's Chill Blaine. Simp. I see Chill Blaine from the comics too, and he also looks kind of lame. Yeah, he was never cool. He was never a cool character. <laughs> well, I mean, I think he's pretty cool. He's a fucking <laughs> loser, and that's, that's the whole, ba, 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 whole thing. Ba, 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 JD, JD. Yeah, he's not even like a good replacement for like a character like uh fucking Captain Cold. He's so boring, and his story is that. My girlfriend's dead. Bring her back. I mean, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty, you know, that's riveting. That's a riveting storyline. Yeah, it is, you know? And then it, and, and then he just does nothing. <laughs> he just does nothing. He does nothing. But he's in every episode. <laughs> in the final season? Every season. Oh. <laughs> well, like the past four seasons, he appeared in one random episode when they were fighting Killer Frost, and then he's just been there ever since. Well, it's because it's because they like the shows like him because he's ripped and he's hot, and there you there you go. Is he? Is he? <laughs> well, I mean, all of these all these uh, pictures of him is him like shirtless. Uh, yeah, no, yeah and that's that. it actually. That's period. That. Period. He's he's a shirtless guy. I get it. Cool. What does he do? Uh, he shoots ice out of his gloves. And? That's all you need. Does I mean, he have any character at all other than my girlfriend's dead? Well, I mean, the Flash's character is he I run like fast. He's a shitty fucking so Wolverine you cosplay. You know, his, his Flash character is I run fast. So there you go. At least they give him story sometimes. <laughs> you have to catch yourself. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> but but they, they revealed that it's Batwoman. And it, again, it's not a multiverse Batwoman. It's not anything like that. And then they, the Chill Blaine, he's like talking down to her. He's like, I mean, we don't even know who you are. So so why should we be afraid of you? She's like a foot shorter than him, by the way. But they're trying to hide it and they're doing such a bad job. <laughs> so which Batwoman was it? Is it like the first one or is it the one that replaced it's, the it's first the one? It's the new one. It's the okay. Ryan Wilder. I see. Which again, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it makes perfect sense to me. It, it doesn't make any sense because it's not it's not a multiverse one where the multiverse was dying. It, it's just the one from their world and she stepped into some negative speed force. 
<laughs> Whoops, I slipped on this negative yes, speed force. Whoa. Like, and and she she like she does this whole speech where the the chill Blaine actor has to slowly <laughs> lower himself to get like beneath her as she's like standing over him. And it's like such a bad performance because they're like trying to repeat the I am vengeance scene from the Batman movie. But it's her <laughs> I going, am vengeance. I am vengeance. Vengeance. <laughs> she like kind of like fucks up saying vengeance and she just kind of like vengeance is, like, vengeance shakes is a hard a word to say it's a hard word to say jd she does like the shaking head thing i do <laughs> she does that while she says it that's why i'm like this isn't what is this 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 isn't real <laughs> oh my god this is horrible this can't be it's but yeah it's i i have so many problems and i just don't want to keep watching like i realized I don't care what happens anymore. I don't care that they're literally bringing back every fucking character they've had in previous seasons. You Somehow, know, Palpatine I didn't bring is up back. JD, uh, a, a, a favorite character of mine, Pied Piper, he's returned after several seasons of being gone since season yes! three. Yes. I think I think he was literally in one episode of season three, and it was the first episode or something. He's been gone ever since, and and I've been waiting for him to come back, and when I heard he was coming back, I was so excited. I, I don't even want to keep watching for him. <laughs> he, he was like, I was so excited when I heard he was returning, and I've just never been more bored in my fucking life. Or you don't want to see the Pipe Piper anymore? No, I don't, because they ruined him as well. He's not the character we last saw. They reverted him to some weirder version. The, some Green perverse coming version. Back. Not even that. Green Arrow's coming back. The, the Green Arrow actor is literally coming back after being dead. <laughs> after I didn't being care about dead? that. Yes, his character died. <laughs> That's why his show ended. His character just died. And I don't even care that he's coming back anymore. Well, it's like a multiverse version of it, you know? No, it's not. <laughs> it's just going to be time travel. I know. It, it, they don't do anything else. It's Barry, okay, you can't time travel. It's Barry. a little okay. Barry. It's a little okay. Barry, it's me. It's me, Iris. <laughs> Iris, I am the Flash. We are the Flash, Barry. <laughs> yes, it's honey. Just like, it reminds me of the communist like me, where it's like, uh, no. <laughs> you're, you're the Flash? No, we are we the, are the Flash. <laughs> Flash. That's that's our literally. speed force. <laughs> it's literally that. I, I hate it so fucking much, dude. <laughs> well i mean at, at least in good news relating to the flash the uh the new it's flash ending. movie is going to come out right yeah they're apparently uh they're showing the full movie at a, a film festival here oh how do you how, so how do you uh, how do you feel about it you think it's gonna be good or i think the movie's gonna be good i don't want ezra miller to be part of it anymore i've talked I've, I've talk i would love it if if ezra <laughs> miller just kept on being the flash and and like Warner brothers just kept on turning a blind eye to him kidnapping like ale yeah. allegedly uh kidnapping and grooming some like minor and it's not alleged and then uh <laughs> I, i'm pretty sure it was proven and then beating up some dude in hawaii like sometimes you just get beat up i mean that's all and if you get beat up by someone like ezra miller i mean is that really is that your fault i i mean debatable ezra miller choke slammed the woman in like norway well of course because i mean she probably deserved it to be honest, in the past, I did defend. I did defend that because I thought it was like, I didn't. I wasn't aware of Ezra Miller's actions post that. Yeah. And at the time, it did seem like uh, she approached a drunk person and yeah. started screaming, "Do you want to fight? Do you want to fight?" And then, <laughs> then they fought. And then they fought. I, I was like, I was like, yeah, this is probably what's going to happen. Like, I don't think it's a good thing, but I don't think like demonizing uh, Ezra for it is like the correct thing. In hindsight, that's probably. <laughs> <laughs> he probably uh sorry they probably we're gonna do that either way mm. well, i mean yeah but the, the new movie i mean it looks pretty cool it's, yeah, it's not movie. even just one ezra miller it's two ezra miller i know i in and here's the thing i know one of them's gonna be reverse flash and i don't i don't like that what what, what do you mean no yes but, Jay, barry's never so reverse obvious. flash it's, he's never been no but it's so clearly setting up as that no, they, no, no. They no. literally have one of the berries wearing yellow the entire time. No, 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 no. It's not yellow. It's like orange. 
No, it's JD. It's not even like close to orange. It's <laughs> and then, so and then the Batman's in it too. Both the Batman are in it. Yeah, Michael Keaton's and Ben Affleck's. Yeah, it's gonna be and, crazy. I've never actually and seen Supergirl. I've never actually seen um the Michael Keaton Batman. So oh, we should watch those. Well, add, add it to, the list. to the list. Add it to the list. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's and Supergirl's in it. I, I was, yeah, Supergirl's. Isn't that from the uh, leaked shots of like her on the set of like? Was she in something else? That actor? No, she was. She Supergirl? was. Uh, oh, was she in like another thing? Yeah, was she I, playing Supergirl in another thing? No, or was it the, for this? No, movie? this was her first time being cast as Supergirl. Okay. It's actually there's a very wholesome video of her uh, getting the casting news from the director Andy Machete, where Machete? she's like, uh, yeah, Andy Machete. Andy Machete. Okay. He directed the It movies, the new ones. Oh, so, so he's he's a terrible director. No, the first one was good. <laughs> second one has... I've never watched the It movies, so... <laughs> oh, okay. I think the second one's okay. Yeah. I don't think it's as good, but I think the first one is fucking immaculate. Immaculate. Yeah, I just remember the uh, the... The one screenshot meme of like her standing next, her like standing in her costume, and then Tom Holland standing in his costume, and they were comparing the like their their ass sizes, and Tom Holland had like the dump truck. <laughs> Are you talking about Brie Larson as Captain Marvel? Was it that? I don't I don't remember. Yeah, that's that was the Captain Marvel thing because like on was set it? she had like she has no ass, and then they put padding in her costume after that came out. <laughs> it was oh, so maybe it's that one then. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was a really funny thing. I remember that because <laughs> it's like, damn, Tom Holland's natural ass is better than Brie Larson's. <laughs> Dude, I can't wait for uh, the Supergirl to act exactly like Captain Marvel. I mean, I think she's going to be acting like a in place of Flashpoint Superman. Actually, is a better oh, yeah. uh, comparison for it because they're in the uh, they're in the Flashpoint timeline. Right. This is like a Flashpoint movie, right? Yeah. Hmm. That's a uh, that's cool. It's Flashpoint, but like uh, but with two about, flashes, like abridged. Abridged. <laughs> this is Flashpoint flat fan fiction. Yeah, it's it's not exactly it. You know, there's so many problems with the version that they are doing, but I also don't have too much of a problem because it is still pretty close. And it's just like it's replacing some characters that really don't need to be there mm-hmm. for the first Jesus Christ. I just got fucking so, I'm, like I said, I'm playing Castle Crashers. I just got yeah. fucking pushed into a wall as 80 enemies just suddenly spawned. Yeah, there you go. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess we, we should go watch that movie in theaters then, I guess, huh? Yes. When it comes out. I won't, I won't watch it. I'm going to watch it in theaters when it comes out. I'm very excited. But, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, she... I think she's fine in the part, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, you know... No, I don't know. Anyway, that's all. That's all you have to <laughs> rant about for the Flash. Yeah, because that's all that happened. That's my problem is that it's like they they're they're doing nothing and also mm. trying to do something. It's like okay, well, you know, so since we've been out of commission for like uh, two weeks since last week was yeah. level up, and then the week before that was or I know the week before that was I don't remember what happened the week before that, but all this stuff happened so recently. Uh, I just have to cover it real quick. Uh, I titled it, The Apocalypse is Happening. You titled what? I just titled it, The Apocalypse, It's Happening. Th- First thing, episode? do you know what happened with the... Uh, <laughs> yeah. What do you mean you titled? What, what, what are you talking do you, about? Do, do you know what happened in Ohio? Yeah, the fucking big cloud. I don't think we've talked about it on the podcast No, we have yet. not. I've been wanting to talk about that, dude. That's fucking wild. Are we going to be liable for it? Are they going to come and arrest us? For talking about it? <laughs> no. No. Maybe. So so in East Palestine in Ohio, there was a big ass Palestine. like the biz clo like uh I think it was called Palestine, right? It is. It's okay. it's just it's it's wild that place in America is fucking called Palestine. Well, I mean, you know, it's just a name and uh Yeah, I know. It's just how it is. So just, in East Palestine, uh, uh what happened was at least this is what we this is what has been reported has been happened, right? Is that a train crashed that was carrying a bunch of chemicals in it? Not really sure what chemicals were in it, but 
but it crashed and it was and it crashed in like a fire and started like a fire or something so like all the chemicals were on fire and then uh and then what happened was uh take this with a grain of salt because i'm not sure this is true information but what i heard was that a team was i think like the ohio state or something whatever the city or state uh, sent out a team to put out the fire and what they did was they tried to put it out with a controlled explosion and that made it worse yeah, so that's what I, resulted in the are, big mushroom cloud thing. The amount of times that has genuinely been like the fucking answer for fucking police and shit is so horrible. Controlled explosion. Yes. Huh, we got all these explosives here that are highly volatile and dangerous. What should we do with them? Let's blow them up in the middle of a city Let's street. Let's blow them up. And we'll call it a we'll call it a controlled explosion. We have to put out this fire. What should we do, guys? Like, oh, well, we don't have any we don't have any like fire hoses or fire hydrants around here. But we, I do have this stick of dynamite. Oh, perfect. <laughs> That's JD. You nail on. I want to blow. I want to blow some shit up. Said the team, so that they <laughs> they blew it up, and you know, surprise, it made it worse. So <laughs> I think that's where it resulted in the big like mushroom cloud is after they yeah. did the big the controlled explosion. And I don't think I found. I don't think I've seen. I've seen only one picture of it, and it looks it looks pretty bad. <laughs> Especially like if you're if you're living in that uh area. And then what happened was I think the the government like evacuated everyone for a little bit out uh from from Palestine. And then they uh they would arrest anyone who got near that place to try like cover it for a story. <laughs> Which is like it's it's insane to me that this is happening and uh <laughs> because because we live in a we live in an age where like we live in a society. We live in a society where, you know, anything you do is like recorded and immediately posted to the internet. <laughs> So everyone knows that this is happening. And it's yeah, not like, it's. I don't know why they thought they would be able to cover it up. It's like it's like you, whatever. It, it reminded me of you, whatever you're telling me something, or you're telling me a lie on stream in a game that happened, and it's recorded, and I see it, and it and it happened right in front of me, and you're like, no, 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 this, I it, see, I swear, this is what happened. To and I'm like, no, it's record. Why are you saying that? I don't understand. It's it's yeah, recorded. Yeah, have recording of it, but I never do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because I don't stream when we play. Because my, I, if I try to do that, my internet will be all fucked. Yeah. So they arrest arrest anyone who tries to like cover it as, as a story or like to get close to it. Uh, and then and then uh, after a while, people moved back in. And they found out that you know all the like the fish died in the waters. You know, like the water might be contaminated or something, and all the animals contaminated are contaminated. Water done by the government. There might be acid rain and stuff. Never you know, heard of put, that before. They put shit in the water. It made the frogs gay, and that's why they died. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's happening in Ohio, which is, you know, pretty crazy. And then, like, I think in that same week, uh, just everything else was like going to shit, you know, like helicopters, like a helicopter crash in Alabama and then another train crash in Michigan. And then a thousand pound meteor hits Texas and like it rumbles like an area or something. So I think we're living in the end. We're in the end times, as Jordan Peterson would put it. <laughs> yeah, we're truly in the end times. Good old Jordy P. Yeah, Jor Jordan Peets. Jor Jort Peets. Jor Daniel Peterson. Jorder Jorder Pops. <laughs> so yeah, I mean that's uh that's pretty insane. Thank God we don't live in Ohio. Ohio's not real, JD. I I mean I've never been there, and I don't know anyone who's been from there, so. I mean, who's to say? I mean, I'm not from Ohio. It, I think it's just a government conspiracy to kind of blame Ohio or what our, happened. Ohio. <laughs> 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 to blame I, I all to of sure society. Sure. Blame all society's problems on this one state that is fictional. It doesn't exist. It's literally not real. Couldn't be. Mm -mm. It's literally it's Florida, but if it wasn't real. Yeah, and the Super Bowl also happened. We didn't. I don't think we talked about that. Yeah, I was expecting uh, better commercials from Super Bowl. Honestly. Uh oh yeah, I don't think there were very good commercials there. There was there was they were so mid. They're all kind of just generic, fine commercials. They don't ever take any more chances with commercials anymore. You know. Yeah, you know, no more uh, Mr. Planner's peanut dying. No more uh, M&M, M&M, M&Ms. M&Ms are back though. 
Yeah, I saw that actually. They're back. How long were they gone? Like a week? Yeah, like a month. (laughs) Maybe. (laughs) They said they're retiring them and now they're just back. So it was just to get Jordan Peterson talking about it. We all know this. Yeah. You know, they got rid of the, you know, you know, what was the Jordan Peterson? You see oh, the Jordan, Jordan Peterson, Peterson Clipper. Tucker Carlson, I meant. Oh, never mind then. Yeah. But uh, that's cool, I guess. I never really was a big fan of the M&Ms as like a snack or the the franchise. But JD, so sexy. I don't think so. No. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Jordan, uh, somebody says, somebody says so. I think they're a bit too candy-like for my taste. Uh, You're telling me really candy's like sweet too candy? Things. I don't really like sweet things that much, you know. And just because it wears shoes, I mean, I don't, I don't think that, I don't think that makes it sexy. You're saying no shoes, no shirt, and you still get service? Wow. You know, if it's got it's eyelashes and shoes, like okay. But There's a lot of things that have eyelashes and shoes. The green M M&M and M now has her sexy high heels again, according to Tucker Carlson. She can have heels too, but I, I don't think that makes it sexy. But Corey and Tucker Carlson. I don't think I don't think people look at women and the first thing if they're wearing high heels, like they'd be like, "Wow, that woman's so sexy! Look at her heels." Uh, JD, you don't know how conservatives think. <laughs> You're right. I mean, they don't. You know, they. I, I think they have a little bit of trouble talking to women sometimes. Maybe <laughs> Ben Shapiro. <laughs> hey, Ben Shapiro has a wife or something, right? Technically, <laughs> on paper. Yeah. I think I think it was like one she has of those, a wife, like, but she's more like his best friend. Yeah, I think it's like one of those like, hey, you're gay, but we don't want to like. I mean, you're gay, and we're not attracted to each other, but we get benefits if we're married, type thing. Oh yeah, like tax cuts. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think it's a tax cut because <laughs> Ben Shapiro is an admitted gay person. You think it's the standard deduction, huh? <laughs> and it's definitely he, not a. Fake is he actually post. gay? <laughs> uh, there was one fake Twitter post, but he also did write, write like. As a gay person, I <laughs> I think that was just him joking around. That I don't think he I don't think he was. I think he just misworded what he wanted to say because I'm pretty sure he changed it later. Oh, <laughs> what do you want to type instead of "I'm gay" or "as a gay person"? I think he was like trying to say to like as a gay person, you should know. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um. Also, um, Susan stepped down. The CEO of YouTube? Oh, yes. YouTube CEO, well, Susan. Where Worcestershire Susan uh, has stepped down and now someone else I thought else you is... said Worcestershire. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> she stepped down and now there's a new dude at the helm uh, for YouTube. So I guess, uh, you know, policy changes in. Any changes in coming, maybe? Don't yeah, know. you know, maybe, maybe now uh, I can uh, just act like a normal human being. I mean, maybe now. Oh, t- hey, did I curse into the first 30 seconds? I forgot to check. I don't think so. But if you did, I'll just cut it out. I don't think so. But I'll cut did, out I'll the cancer. You, I'll you dead. I'll cut out the cancer. Um, Yeah, new guy stepped in. I heard he likes NFTs. I can't wait for that to oh. happen. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, oh, James, you and me have to launch another channel. We make a crypto game based on your drawings. <laughs> You start selling these <laughs> NFTs on the blockchain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These YouTube NFTs. Hunt down the Freeman NFTs. <laughs> Come and get I think, your. I think this could be very lucrative. Come and get your JPEG of uh, of Adam's mm-hmm. Adam's shoes. It's only three million dollars. <laughs> this is this is incredible. Yeah. Can't wait for the new policy things. I mean, I hope they don't actually force me to have to pay you, like, a some like some amount of money for being a co-host on my channel. So, wait, do you, would you have to pay me? Well, I mean, with the, how much money I'm, the channel is making right now, I mean, I'm. Yeah, how much make? How much money? Uh, to an amount, you know. Uh, uh, uh... <laughs> it's an amount, and you know, if, if if it has to force me to renew the contract I have with you that says that you don't get any of the cut. And you're just here for fun. I mean, I think, I think that's pretty messed up. Everything else is fine, though. Yeah, no, everything else is fine, you know, except for the fact that I'm in unpainted and turn. I know that James, when you said that you want to act like a normal human being, I know you just want to sling all types of racial slurs on the podcast, just like hey, Aiden, just like Aiden hey, Ross's Aiden, Aiden I, Ross's I have, chat when he's on kick. Record, I have that secret recording of you on Saturday morning of the con. 
<laughs> when you drop the word you're not allowed to say. I didn't drop any word. I didn't say it. <laughs> you did. You said it with your whole chest and stared at me in the eyes. <laughs> I didn't say anything, dude. You said it so confidently and then stared at me knowing there was nothing I could do. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing you could do. <laughs> I was helpless as my friend <laughs> hurled that slur at me. I never would have thought I'd be betrayed in such a way. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, that's, 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 eh. I mean, I think the podcast is still going to go despite uh, more pol- Hold on a second. I might get interrupted here. Ah, listen to that, folks. Classic JD getting interrupted. No, I think I'm good. No, I think you're getting it's interrupted. Just, uh, no, it's just uh, just my my mother screaming in the background. Just anyway. me clubbing you over the head with my mace. Anyway, so yeah, YouTube CEO stepped down. Um, yeah, there's a there's a lawsuit against against Google right now. Have you heard about it? Uh, I think I don't know. There's like always a lawsuit against Google or something. It, well, it's called Go- what's, Gonzalez what's versus. One? It's called Gonzalez versus Google. Is this Danny Gonzalez? And what happened was. Um, I, maybe, I don't know that, I don't know his first name, but, uh, it, what happened was, uh, I think back, back sometime when, I don't remember when, but it was, it was, a, it was a few years ago, somewhere around there where like an American student went to like Paris or something and he got killed by, uh, ISIS. Jesus and, uh, Christ. Yeah. So he got killed by ISIS and then, and then the family, his family, um, sued Google because YouTube was they said that YouTube was promoting videos of ISIS to people like because their I mean, algorithm was pushing those kinds of videos to uh people. Wasn't that actually happening at the time though? Uh maybe. I don't I yeah, I could I could see it happening, but I don't know. I, I think it was happening. Um yeah, so they said that you know, their algorithm is pushing sh- and you know, they should be liable for that. Uh and now this now this lawsuit's finally like I guess uh taking off a few years later because litigious stuff always takes a while to happen and uh what the argument is you know should uh should google be responsible for like the uh what was it for stuff that's on their platform being pushed out and stuff yes and the the problem was that uh if if they are then that means a lot of things are going to get shut down because then you know Anything you publish to these public platforms is going to be the responsibility of them. So the the, the most likely thing is they just turn it down, shut it all down, probably. I don't think they'd shut it all down, you know. Um, I mean, if you're getting slapped with lawsuits over and over again, like say, you know, for like YouTube, the the thing was like, uh, what was it? Like if someone posts nudity on YouTube, right? Let's let's say, does oh is hold that- on, JD, I'm gonna say this. They let Logan Paul is still a huge force on YouTube, and he posted a fucking dead body of a man that killed himself, laughed at it, and made a ton of revenue off it. Well, you see, and, Logan... he, and he faced no actual repercussions for this. Well, you see, Logan I, Paul. I think they do need the police. Their well, stuff. you see, Logan Paul is a cool and wholesome dude, and everyone loves him, <laughs> no, so it's Logan okay. Logan Paul had a deal with YouTube Red, so they let it fucking slide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you know that's just how it is, but you know. That's just how it do. That's just how it do, Yugi. But I don't think they'll actually get rid of it because there is a. Uh, I think there's already a law in place that keeps uh, platforms like that from getting all that, uh, getting slapped with all those lawsuits. It's called like Section Section Two Thirty, I think, where uh, you know public platforms are not responsible for what's posted on their their platforms. That's just. I think that's what it basically it says. Yeah. Yeah. But I think I think recently with how much I guess that's only that's probably best in case when you're not moderating anything. But if you start moderating stuff, then you're like kind of controlling what people see on your platform. Then it kind of like yeah. muddles the the pond a and little I get, bit. I, I get that, but it's again still there's so many bad things that have happened on their platform that they could have stopped if they stepped in. Mm-hmm. And because they didn't, bad shit was allowed to exist for a very long time without interruption well i mean yeah you could say it was bad shit but i mean it made everyone despite people despite people reporting and stuff it still exists and still existed i mean you could say you know that's that's what led people to think that logan paul was kind of not a great dude 
Yeah, but I'm also pretty sure that the case of like that a uh, kid that was killing the cats that Charlie even talked about. Yeah. I think he still like has a YouTube channel and shit. No, I think he got taken down. No, I mean like I think he's still like he's not like IP banned or anything for that. I think he like made a new channel after that happened. And he's still going strong right now? I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that was like what happened afterwards. Oh, cuz I I mean maybe that happened, but I'm pretty sure they they might not have IP banned him, but I'm pretty sure they just banned any account that he made again. Cuz that, that's also against terms of service. If you get banned and you make another account do it, that's just ban evading, so they would ban it again. I don't. I, I'm pretty sure that won't fly under their radar, but I mean, a lot of things have. I, I don't think he was big enough, like Logan. I don't think he was big enough and and kind like Logan Paul, so that you know. Yeah, kind. That he would be. Well, I mean, he's he's Logan Paul's super rich and popular and handsome and stuff. So I mean, that's that's just how it is. <laughs> <laughs> my silence is deafening huh yeah so anyway <laughs> anyway that that lawsuit's happening i'm gonna let you speak your bullshit i think JD. most people well i mean you just did and you didn't reply to me so i guess i'm just right i don't so know what I you think, want me uh, to fucking say man i can i can only play i can only i can only, I, can only I don't think so this much. lawsuit is gonna i think i don't know actually it could go either way so i guess we'll just have to stay tuned and, and find out I mean, if the lawsuit does go through, then uh, our channel might get removed. So that's just yeah. that's just how it is. We'll be free or like our channel just be like dead because it just will stop getting promoted from, to anything. So, it gets promoted to yeah. stuff. I mean, that's that's where all the, like the twenty views come from every every day, right? Or every episode. Uh, I gotta I think tell you so. something, JD. It's me. Yeah. I watch I watch our I watch this episode twenty times every time it comes out. <laughs> yeah, that's you. Yeah, it's me, man. It's me, Barry. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, one last thing. Aiden Ross, my bo- our boy, Aiden Ross. Yeah. Uh, the happened? second coming of Jesus Christ, Andrew Tate himself. Um, uh, he's part of the family. Welcome to the family, son. I mean, as we learned, he was allowed to uh, show up to the, uh, the fucking prison. Remember, he was one of only five people. <laughs> mm hmm. I like how Andrew Tate gets to decide who shows up to visit him and stuff. His lawyer, his brother, mm-hmm. his mom, Aiden Ross, his boyfriend. Aiden Ross. So, yeah, Aiden Ross, did you know what happened with him recently? Uh, I know he joined Kick. Yeah, so he, he got like a Kick deal and he went to Kick. Uh, and you know, and Kick, I guess, is just it's Trainwreck's platform, right? Oh my God, is it? That explains so much. I think so. It's either that Trainwreck's made that platform, or that it already existed, but Trainwreck's became like a really big investor or something. So basically, like a like the figurehead of it, anyway. So Trainwreck's is on that platform, that and makes what so it much promotes is like uh, you can stream anything, I guess. Stream stream anything, and because yeah, he just wants to stream gambling without and have no <laughs> and have no censorship or something. Yeah, that's basically what it was for. <laughs> but then Aiden Ross, Aiden Ross hopped aboard. He's like, yeah, that's that's cool. So he hopped in there. He's like, guys, no moderation in the chat. You can just go crazy. And guess what happened? Porn. Guess what happened to his chat that became un, you know, unmoderated? What happened? Did it become just horrible? A lot of racial slurs. <laughs> mm, who could have guessed? <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, I guess it's, you know, it's funny because Aiden Ross's audience is like, um, they're mostly like kids, I think. And kids I, just I, think it's funny just to spam I mean, that's not racial too surprising, slurs. So. You know? I mean, you know, and it's funny to some extent, but it has to be like in a context of like of a dark joke to make it funny, and not just the word itself is funny. I don't know, Jay, it just sounds like excuses. Well, I mean, I believe that you can make fun of anything really. You can make jokes about anything, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, like you can make jokes of Yeah. I said it. Did you? I didn't hear anything. You just add you just add a bleep there. Oh, I'll just add you. I'll just add like a AI. Like I'll put your voice into an AI thing and make you say it a slur as an AI. Yeah, you think it'll you be have indistinguishable enough, from? <laughs> you think you have enough audio reference to do that? Yeah, about you know one hundred and twenty ish episodes of you talking for. for <laughs> yeah, that's, there's a you lot. Know, you gotta you're gonna be surprised. You there's a lot of good. There's a lot of footage of us talking. 
And there's even more on your channel too. There's like even more footage of that of you talking on your channel. Hey, you know, JD, I really want you to. I really want you to do this because I want to hear it. <laughs> I probably won't do it. It's too much work. But yeah, so then he starts. Uh, I think he streamed the Super Bowl on his uh, channel, which I think is illegal. I don't think he yeah, can do is. that. It, it is very illegal. So far, I don't think anything has happened to him because of it. Uh, uh, of then course he, not. Then he started streaming porn, I think. But uh, yeah, because that was one of the things he tried to promote it. Yeah, he's he, trying to he stream. Was, he streamed he porn. He was like but... saying to uh, to Kai Senta. He was like trying to convince him to join. <laughs> Kai, like... Kai Senta. Isn't that who? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Kai yeah. Senta. yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah that's so, the other aiden ross guy that they were like old buddy buddy with and shit yeah it's, it's like he's like aiden ross's friend i think yeah you know occasionally when they're not fucking fighting yeah all so, i know is that they fight all the time jesus christ <laughs> they fight all the time yeah so you start streaming porn but then you know he realizes that his chat is all underage so that's also is that it's mm -hmm. also illegal isn't it it is mm-hmm but it's okay Very. because Aiden Ross is popular and cool no. and hip with the kids, so he probably could get away no. with it. No, no, JD, bad. Well, you see, you know, I, I it is pretty bad. Because <laughs> you know, I don't think you should be streaming anything uh, sexual toward under underage things, underage people. You know, I yeah, think that's, that's right, JD. You that might be a line that. that things shouldn't cross, but I guess Aiden Ross crossed it anyway. But You're telling me that Aiden Ross didn't think before he did something? I that's wild. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. Unheard it? of, actually. He's banned from Twitch now. I think. It, it, I'm surprised it took this long. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure Trainwreck is going to be following that pretty soon. What's funny is that Twitch didn't ban him because of what he did. It was just because I think he violated the contract of the whole you can't stream on like another platform or something because right, i remember he was like i don't know if i'm gonna be joining them i'm just gonna try to check it out and it's like well now you literally have no other choice because you're a fucking idiot and you don't know how this contract works <laughs> well 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 if it isn't if it isn't the consequences, consequences of, of my own actions, actions. <laughs> yeah exactly yeah, it's so, literally that uh so he's banned from twitch now i think i think it's an indefinite one maybe uh i don't think it's like a suspension but uh yeah that's i mean james are you gonna you gonna join kick too or no. <laughs> you sure? I mean, you could, you could stream anything you wanted. There, you could watch all of. You could, you could watch all of Hunt Down the Freeman. On the, I, I can already do that. <laughs> I can already do that as is. Dude, you can stream porn on Cake, dude. Why would you not? Wow. Why would you not join it? Something for me. <laughs> it's exactly you. That's your whole identity, dude. It's all I care about. It's entirely me. <laughs> you could promote all of your Andrew Tateism, whatever the whatever the uh, religion surrounding your Andrew Tate is called. No, you got to Andrew Tate. The top genus. The top genus. That's pretty. <laughs> it sounds like you're talking about a fucking My Hero Academia character. That's <laughs> top, genus. Top G is the is the is the number one hero from uh, Canada from canada no he's the number one hero hero in uh wh what was the place andrew tate lived in bulgaria yeah bulgaria or something. romania that's it was he was in romania he was the number one hero in romania top g and his quirk was um his quirk was racial was that he's really rich and he could <laughs> he could buy anything he wanted i was gonna call him stan he's, he's a stan user his stand what color is your bugatti <laughs> I know it's not a song name, but I don't care. <laughs> what color that's is the your Bugatti? Only, that's the only thing I know about fucking JoJo is the uh, that stands have names based off songs. Really? I don't care for it that much, but I've forcibly learned that as a fact. Yeah, I don't think I've ever. I don't think I've watched JoJo enough to get to the stand part. So there you go. You you didn't watch the first episode. Uh, I don't think there was a stand in the first two seasons. I don't know, man. I've never watched it. I'm just assuming that stands are in there commonly. If that's all people talk about. From I it. watched the first two seasons, but I didn't. I don't think I remember seeing any stands. I think stands were only from like third season on. Maybe? Oh yeah, you wouldn't see stands. He's a YouTuber, not a JoJo character. Yeah, I can't wait for his contrary for like his dirt to come out. And it turns out he's not such a great dude. It's only a matter of time, I guess. Mm -hmm. But time fixes all. And it's time for you to subscribe, 
viewer if you want to keep watching the the crap shoot the episodes come out every sunday right james yes every sunday or is it or is this over uh, do you want more things to talk about or i don't know it seems like it ended pretty quickly how long have we been going about an hour really yeah yeah, I didn't realize, I guess, how much I was talking about fucking The Flash. Oh, you know, when you're gaming, the, the, yeah, you, you talk about The Flash for like 30 minutes. That's going to have to be the title of this now, because that's the most of it. The Flash is still just as bad. <laughs> the CW, I'm going to title it The CW, I, we love The CW Flash. CW's finally coming to an end. Oh, also, <laughs> a trailer for the Gotham Knights TV show uh, appeared while we were watching Flash, and it's, do you know what yes. Batman looks like in that show? No. It's probably one of the worst, like, Batman cowls I've ever seen and also <laughs> he's just wearing a suit that's his Batman suit I guess oh well, he's Bruce Wayne <laughs> no but it's like he has the he's just Bruce Wayne wearing on. the cowl that's all <laughs> yes. it's just a cowl not, not anything else yes that's what it looks like that's literally what it looks like JD mm-hmm. it's so bad but it's like then the characters aren't even good <laughs> Well, before, you know, before you get into the tyrant, uh, let's, let's wrap it up, huh? Yeah, so, you know, all that, every Sunday, uh, bring us out, James. So, it's, 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 so, Carrie Kelly's there, but it's also not Carrie Kelly, and then, for some reason, she's like, Batman always called me, because he's Robin.